it's out of body adrenaline. I definitely get airy, I get lightheaded because you're getting a little too much oxygen or not in that, I don't know. Sometimes I feel it in my body even before I know what's happening. My heart will start to race, my temperature will go up. If I'm not showing it, it still shows up in other ways. It's like sweat. I can feel my sweat in my hands. I can feel my sweat everywhere. Over the many years I've been alive, it's done some weird things to my body. Historical racialized trauma and how it sits in your body just from existence and how it gets carried and passed on to generations. It's physiological manifestation of something that I think is probably spiritual and mental. Like it's real ailment in the body but it's only been treated by physiological medicine. I'm feeling my hands be very clammy, like my chest starts to tighten up. The heaviness, the like lack of sleep, the shallow breathing, like itchiness, like in the body, like in the face, in the skull. <laughs> I just feel like your body just like starts like telling you the discomfort in other ways. <laughs> There's also the sense of like having something to fidget with or to touch, to crumple or something, to write in. Whenever I'm going through a lot of anxiety, I find myself doodling a lot, like a lot of pressure on it. Like the other day, I think I wrote like stress 10 times in a row. <laughs> like a, the sense of materials of pens and ink. I often have pain in my neck and my shoulders. I just walk around with my shoulders up to my ears. I feel it as a sort of like my insides are trying to pull my outsides in, like ah, an implosion. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to crumple in on yourself. I feel it in my solar plexus. I think I just stop breathing. I breathe somehow because my body has the mechanics of breathing, but. It's very short. I don't breathe from my belly, and that's why I have all these digestive issues. If your body is in a state of like that kind of heightened conflict or tension, it's like you're using the wrong mechanism. It's doing it to keep you alive, but you're using the totally wrong mechanism for breathing. By like breathing is such a grounding exercise, yeah. and, and being able to tell your body like we're not in danger, like we can come in from our deep bellies we're not on the move we're not on the go then post-conflict there is a sense of a little bit of relief because the initial conflict has happened but then still a little bit of fluttering in the body about what could you have done differently did it end the way i wanted it to end why did it happen in the first place a lot of questioning my dad used to rub my forehead when i was upset. when i'm alone i like rub my feet together it's like a definite visceral sort of way of calming myself down. If I'm holding somebody's hand and something's happening, I don't even realize it's happening, but I'm like trying to soothe them with like just rubbing. <laughs> Your body is understanding that you're not alone. You do have support and that there's all these folks there to take on the work with you instead of having to figure it out on your own.